Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So today, I'd like to show you how to use the brand new VizFloix template library to create amazing animated graphics for your show. Super easy to use and implement and I cannot say enough good things about VizFloix. It really is that awesome. So. Let me show you how it's done, son. All right, all right, all right. So here I am on my web browser on a standalone PC, and I'm going to start showing you how to play around with these awesome new Viz Flowix templates that they've made for us. So let's check it out. So first things first, let's go ahead and click on Create New Project, like so. All right, and let's update this title here to, I don't know, there we go. I'll just call it, I don't know. There we go. Okay. So from here, uh, let's go under uh, where it says graphics and packages. There's an option here for create graphics package and check this out. Boom. Look at all these awesome templates that they've made for us. So if I just scroll over them, you can see that uh, there's some really cool ones that have been already built uh, for us to play around with and connect data connectors to, bring in all of our graphics, photos, you name it. Uh, so uh, 133 different templates on here. So uh, let's go through on the left side and see what we got. So uh, you can go through at the top and search templates if there's a specific one you're looking for, type it in there. Or you can do uh, what I've been doing. Uh, I'll go under industries and you can click on these and give you some different options. So if I go to broadcaster, for example, you got some nice broadcast looking uh, graphics here to choose from like that one. Oh, that's so cool. Um, or down here, you also have options for uh, like just the ones that are full screen, for example, or uh, just score bugs, you name it. Uh, if I scroll down, you'll see I even have options for different data sources we can bring in here. Uh, just the ones that kind of look like so. Uh, a couple, a bajillion different options is in here. So uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to open up one in eSports because I'm a gamer nerd. Do, do, do. All right, so select that. And then I'll click on create here. All right, so let's go through some of the options that we have uh, on the side. So uh, you basically have three areas in here to look at. So the one that's going to be on the top, these are the different pages that you have available within this particular template. And then on the left is where you have the different options where you can go through and say, uh, for example, look at the, the layout of this particular uh, graphic that we have on screen. And then over here on the right, this will allow you, let's say if I go over to this one, click on the question tab. Uh, this will then allow me to change some of this around. So I can just say Richard, for example, like so. And it'll update it uh, accordingly. So, and then you can change things around like the different uh, uh, options in here as far as the, the colors are concerned, different options that's coming through because now you can bring in video, which is super cool. Um, but let's go ahead and I'm gonna take a look because I have been asked to show a scroll, uh, sorry, a, a crawl uh, here on this. So let's go to the top of the page here and and again, I have options for a full video like this, uh, some different filters, box shadows, rounded corners, borders, etc. But I'm going to go to the crawler side. And so I have three different options here right now. This is just giving you kind of a tutorial of uh, what these look like. Go ahead and take that off. Or I can bring on this ticker that I have here at the bottom. Okay, so this is what I'm going to look at here. So uh, from here, uh, what I'm going to do, you'll see that I have basically two elements. And if I click this carrot drop down, you'll see I have the text crawler itself. And then I have the rectangle that is in the back for me to uh, go through and change some stuff on. All right, so uh, first thing, um, let me just go ahead and change the background color. So over here on the right, click on this, and I'm gonna go with pink for that. Cool, cool, cool. All right, and then let's go to the text crawler. And from here, I'm going to say, let's replace these lyrics from a very well-known song. I hope you know this one. If not, no big deal. Uh, so let's just type in here, uh, Viz Flowix is awesome. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, and so let's go ahead and bring the back on to refresh it. And there we go. Viz Flowix is awesome. You can see that at the bottom. Now, let's start to bring that into our TriCaster production. So. A couple other steps we need to do here. First, we need to publish this page. So we'll go to the top right here and click on publish. And I'm going to opt for classic control. All right. And now let's go ahead and open up the remote for this. 
All right, so uh, let's go also to the top, make sure that we enable live, so that is up and running. So now it is active, good to go. And then over here on the left, you'll see uh, where I had those options for the different pages that were in there. I can scroll all the way to the bottom here, and let's bring on the crawler, like so. Ta-da! And if I toggle the ticker on and off, it will animate on and off. And then if I wanted to, also if I wanted to change this directly from here without having to go back to my main page, I can change the text in here. Uh, but if I wanted to go in there and get it like down and dirty and get some of the, uh, the full custom abilities to it, then we'll need to go back to their main page so I can change some of that in here, including the animations for it, yada, yada, yada. But again, I'm going to keep this kind of basic for, for now. Okay, so from here, let's go ahead and open the output, top right corner. And that will open up a web page that displays the graphic right here on the main side of things, okay? So now what we need to do is bring these graphics into our TriCaster production. So step one is going to go ahead and up the top on the web page, we're going to copy the URL for this Flowix page. And now let me move over to the TriCaster and show you how it's done over there. All right, so now I'm on my TriCaster 2 Elite interface, and let's bring in those Flowix graphics. And to do that, what we need to make sure is, well, we need to utilize one of our buffers here. So I'm going to use buffer number one. And if I click on the plus button here, this will open up my browser where normally I can go through and select different files that are locally on the TriCaster. But since it's not locally on the TriCaster, it's on Flowix, I will click on web browser. And then I will paste the URL into that, like so. Boom. All right, now I'm running this via NDI uh, Studio Monitor, so that allows me to copy from one computer and then over to my TriCaster pretty, pretty easily. All right, so we'll say OK on that. OK, and then from here, you'll see on my downstream keyer number one, I can kind of already see that pink line going on underneath, and I have that selected as my buffer number one. So if I click on Fade, like so, ta-da! This Flowix is awesome. Pretty dang cool. All right, now let me go ahead and m move this around a little bit just so we can see stuff working in real time. Okay, so I still have my web browser open. I'm going to go over to my uh, remote control here and then to the bottom of the page. And to take it off, you'll see I'm not going to do anything on the TriCaster side, but if I click out over here, it takes it out on the TriCaster. Yeah. Bring it back on. Same thing. So, some really cool templates you can play around with here on VizFlowix. I highly recommend playing around with them and have some fun. There it is, another awesome way to enhance your shows via VizFlowix. Now, you can check out VizFlowix for free for 30 days by scanning the QR code on screen. So, feel free to pause this video and scan it with your phone. Uh, but I'll also put the link in the video description as well. And you can find more information about VizRT products and services by contacting your local VizRT partner or visiting our website, VizRT.com. And you can find more tutorial videos like this one by subscribing to the VizRT YouTube channel at YouTube.com slash VizRT official. And you can also get professional training with VizRT products by signing up for Viz University at VizRT.com slash community slash Viz dash university. And if you're posting your work using VizRT products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags VizRT, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what you're working on. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials.